Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always, told out of voice for radio, so today we need to go and have a little bit of a look at, well, the top 10 most expensive cards from the new double set, Snow Hazard and Clayburst. It's been out for a few days now over in Japan. We've had time for the prices to settle down, not, not completely, let's not be silly here, but a little bit. We've seen a little bit of a little bit of the prices settling down. So that means that we can go and have a look and see which are the most expensive cards. So let's start off with number 10. And I'm giving this to a joint one. Because there are two very cool cards. Both of which came in at the same price. And I'm having a look around and I can't really seem to differentiate between them. So starting off, we've got the alternate art, the special illustration rare of Chi Yu. Now, as a card, I actually kind of like Chi Yu. It's pretty cool. It's got a couple of pretty nice attacks. One of which can discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. Great Emergency Mill. And another one that lets you do 100 damage while accelerating free fire energy to each of three bench Pokemon. One to each of them, obviously. So, okay. This is kind of cool. But it's the Akira Gawa artwork that does it for me. This is an absolutely stunning card. Now, this is coming in at 3,980 yen, which means we're looking somewhere in the region here of around about $30. It's number 10, and it's coming in at about $30. And then at the same price, we've got the gold Chen Pao. We'll talk about Chen Pao a little bit more in a minute. It does come higher up the list, but it is one of the treasures of ruin, and it is a very good card, and it is a gold version of it. So it comes in here as well, same $30 price. And actually, I suppose while we're here, I should probably mention the Super Rod as well. Because I don't know, Super Rod comes in at the same price again. And let's face it, Super Rod is extremely cool. It's a reprint, it gets your Pokemon back, it gets your basic energy back. It's one of those cards that I think it is fair to say is going to see a rather large amount of play. It always has in the past. So in at number 9, surprisingly for me, is the special art rare of Wo Chen. Coming in at 4,780 yen which translates to around about $35. And this one is surprising to me because I was under the impression, and I don't think this is an unfair impression, I was under the impression that this was the least popular of the Treasures of Ruin. This was kind of like the meme one, the one that nobody really liked. And it's coming in above Chi Yu, and Chi Yu has the absolutely stunning... Akira Igawa artwork, so I'm frankly a little bit surprised that this one gets a little bit higher. In terms of playability, I mean, it's not a bad card. You do have the attack for free energy that lets you choose one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, deal 60 damage for each prize card they have taken, and this is actually one that can be got going pretty quickly, so it's not a bad card, but it's not an amazing card. And it is a Pokemon which I was always under the impression was not hideously popular. So I'm a little bit surprised it gets up here at number 9. Now, in at number 8, actually currently retailing for the same 4,780 yen, or about $35, we've got the Special Art Rare of Ting Lu. Remember, the actual phrasing is Special Art Rare in Japan, Special Illustration Rare over here in US, Europe, etc. Now, this one makes a whole bunch more sense to me. I mean, artwork-wise, this is my favorite. I love this one. But Ting Lu seems like a very good card. It's got that ridiculous ability that turns off non-EX abilities of any Pokemon with damage on while it's in the active, which makes it a very good card with a huge amount of potential. So this one, I kind of get. This one makes a lot more sense to me. It's coming in at number eight. This is one that I actually really want. Just like number seven with Squawkabilly, the special art rare. Now, of all the cards in the set, th this is probably my number one. This is probably my number one of these big fancy cards. And the reason very simply is, Amelica did a couple of cards in V-Star Universe and then has come back for this one card. 
and I am a gigantic fan of the art style of a card. This is a beautiful, beautiful card. Also got all three versions of the Squawk ability, which makes me very happy. Now, this one is coming in for 5,980 yen, just a, a tiny, tiny shade below 6,000 yen, which means you're talking about $45. Not a ridiculous card by any stretch. And firstly, I mean, I've told you how much I love the art. But oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very, very good card. This is a card that I personally expect to see a ridiculous amount of play because this is one, I mean, it's got an attack, an ability, in fact, that can only be used on your first turn, whether you go first or second, lets you discard your hand and draw six cards. And we're in a format right now where Battle VIP Pass exists. So the deal here is really simple. On your first turn, if you hit Battle VIP Pass, you go and get your one Squawk ability. You're only going to be playing one. You go and play your one Squawk ability, and then you've got your ability, and you use it, and jobs are good, and you run away happy. If you don't hit Battle VIP Pass turn one, you don't play it. I expect this to see a redonkulous amount of play, and we got the stunning artwork. This one makes perfect sense to me at number seven. In at number six, we've got the full art of Grusha coming in at just a tad below 8,000 yen. So 8,000 yen, you're talking somewhere in the region here of about $60, just a tiny shade below $60. And this one, it's a full art supporter. And full art supporters at the moment over in Japan are going a little bit silly. Although I should mention that Grusha as a card, it's a decent card. This is a card that I could imagine seeing a bunch of play. What it allows you to do is draw until you have five cards in your hand. But if you have no energy on any of your Pokemon, you draw until you've got seven cards in your hand instead. And there are a bunch of decks out there, and there will be more in the future, where they attach one energy to their Pokemon per turn and then immediately attack. That is the kind of thing they are going to be doing. So... It kind of makes sense that those kind of decks would love playing Grusha. So, yay! Now, in at number five, and we've actually got the same price here, we've got ourselves a Tinkerton. This is the special art rare of Tinkerton. I don't get it. I am imagining, this is my best guess on this one, I'm imagining this is just the popularity of the Pokemon. Because if you followed any kind of social media since the release of Scarlet and Violet, you may have noticed Tinkerton is a very, very popular Pokemon. People love Tinkerton. Because I'm not a fan of the artwork here, and Tinkerton EX as a card, nah. I don't think it's particularly good. Now, I don't think it's absolute garbage. It's got an attack for two colorless energy, does 30 damage for each card in your hand. But I just don't think we've, and I'd love to be proven wrong on this as always, I just don't think we've actually got the support right now for this. I don't think we've got enough to actually make this really work. So I'm imagining this one is very much just a case of there are a lot of people out there that love Tinkerton, and this is pushing the price up quite nicely. And this is where it all starts to make perfect sense. Because in at number four, we've got the special artwork rare of Chen Pao. And this one comes in at just a shade below 13,000 yen. So we are seeing a pretty big jump here. This is about a $95 card. And this is the first time, like I say, in the list where we've seen a pretty big jump up. But this one, I mean, firstly, check out the art. This is a stunning card. And I know a lot of people are gravitating towards it. But also Chen Pao is, is kind of nuts and is potentially a very, 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 very good card. What we've got here is an ability that if it is active, once per turn, you can search your deck for two water cards and put them in your hand. So that means basically if you can be switching around Chen Pao, you can be just getting so many water energy during your turn. You've got an attack that lets you discard water from any of your Pokemon, dealing 60 for each one discarded. And let's not forget that at the same time, we've got Baxcalibur in the set, which lets you attach as much water energy during your turn as you like. I'm showing you the artwork rare here because it's kind of beautiful. So this could potentially be one of the top decks moving forward. This could be just an absolute top tier deck. And you've got this amazing artwork going along with it. 
This makes perfect sense. But now we start to see the big jumps. Because we go from 13,000 yen with Chen Pao to 35,000 yen with your special artwork rare of Grusha. This is $260. And I've told you about the card. The card is kind of cool. The card can see a bunch of play. But what is way more important here is the fact that we've got a special illustration rare. And not only that, but this is a good one. I mean, the special illustration rares as a whole are getting a bit silly. But this is a stunning, stunning piece of artwork. We're obviously going to get to Iono in a minute. I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by that. I personally think this is a better artwork than Iono. I think from a purely artistic standpoint, I think this is a nicer card. Better artwork. Absolutely love it. But it's the special artwork rare. The pull rates are low. People absolutely love them. And yeah, that kind of tells you what you need to know. Now we see another fairly big jump here to the full art Iono. And this is currently coming in at 52,800 yen. Let's round it a tiny bit to 53,000 yen. I do think that is fair to do. And that means we are talking about a $395 card. This isn't even number one. This isn't even a special illustration rare. This is a full art rare. This is literally a full art rare, which is retailing for basically $400. And the full art rares have much better pull rates than the special illustration, the special artwork rares. It is absurd how popular this is. But if you want absurd, how about Iono? Now, I'm taking my prices from Card Rush as I go through this. Just because it's one site that's got all the stuff up and, you know, you're buying from a shop, so you're going to be paying a little bit more. That makes sense. But it's still a nice place to do a, a bit of a comparison. As I was recording this video, literally while I was in the middle of recording it, Iono sold out. The Special Illustration Rare is currently sold out on the website. It literally sold out while I was recording. But before it sold out, it was up for 200,000 yen. Yeah, I'm not kidding, ladies and gentlemen. 200,000 yen. And it sold out for 200,000 yen, which is just absolutely ridiculous. Now, 200,000 yen, you're talking 1490, just a tiny bit below $1,500. That is about what it is at the moment. It's actually a little bit more expensive than when I showed you the video about it going silly yesterday, which kind of tells you what you need to know. This is a ridiculously expensive card. And I mean, honestly, I am hoping that I get myself a box of Snow Hazard. And honestly, if I get a box of Snow Hazard, I'm going to cross my fingers hard that I pull Iono because it will fund my trip to Worlds if I do. <laughs> That's the level of card we're looking at here. Pull the card, sell the card, buy my flight to Japan, have a bunch of money left over. Jobs are good and ladies and gentlemen, jobs are good and this is, this is ridiculous. I, I told you this in a video yesterday. This is ridiculous in a way that we generally don't see cards getting ridiculous. This is completely over the top in a way we just don't generally see. So yeah, have fun with that, ladies and gentlemen. If you are trying to be getting this card, I've told you this in the video yesterday, but let me reiterate it now. Wait for the English version. The English version is going to be like a $100 card. Unless you are desperate for the Japanese version, just wait. Get the English version. It will be better. There are some expensive cards on this list, but I think it's fair to say Iono takes a biscuit. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you need to know. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me which of these cards you want. Tell me which are your favorites. Tell me if there's any world in which you would spend this much money on Iono. Let me know in the comment section. Get us. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Pokemon, card games, Pokemon card games, all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord. You don't have to talk about Pokemon, it can be anything. All kinds of fun things. And get shoutouts on the channel like the lovely Hyperbean, who is our newest patron and seems to be a very lovely person. So thank you very much to them for the support. 
and for seemingly being a very lovely person. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.